Hi, Michael Bettine here once again. If you're like me, you've probably collected a lot of mallets. What do you do with them? How do you travel with them? How do you protect them? Today we're going to talk about bags and cases for your mallets on Cup of Time. If you're like me, you might have collected a lot of different mallets over the years for your gongs, bowls, and bells. I'd like to talk about something real important today, which is mallet bags. Keeping them safe when you travel, keeping them safe just sitting at your house or studio. Surprisingly, I've seen a lot of people just throw their mallets anywhere. Throw them in the bag with the gong, throw them in the bag with the stands, Throw them just in the back seat or the trunk of their car. And that's not good. Your mallets are a very expensive investment. And they can last a lifetime if you take care of them. So, let's talk about bags. The easiest one and most simple one, especially if you just have a few extra mallets, is your basic drumstick bag that you see drum set drummers using. It's got a zipper all the way around, and then it opens up, and you've got a couple of pockets, and it's great. Now, it's designed for sticks and brushes and that, but you can fit some mallets in there. If you've got timpani mallets or a wind gong mallet, here's some vibe mallets. It'll work fine, you know, flumies, things like that. So you can put them all in there, zip it up. And it's nice, it's, nothing's gonna fall out. This one even has an outer pocket. You can put things in, your keys, your glasses, whatever. And it's great if you just have, you know, a few extra mallets. It's not gonna fit any of your big padded mallets in there, but all your smaller skinny mallets, it's perfect and they work well. Something like this you can get for like $20 just about any music store or Amazon or any place like that. You can spend a lot too and get fancier ones that will hold more uh, and have more compartments than that. But I mean, just a basic bag for 20 bucks. This will work great if you just have, you know, a few pair of, like I said, Vibe or Wind Gong mallets, uh, some Flumi, things like that. It's perfect. If you need something a little bigger, a nice one is something like this. This is a little small rolled duffel bag from Balter Mallets. And this is what I mainly use when I travel. I like it because it's, it's, it's squishy in that. And I always put these in my hardware case with the, when I put the racks in there, I put these on top and they'll squish up and kind of fit in there. And there's some padding so it protects everything. But these are great. You can get a lot of different mallets in this. It's fairly roomy. It will even take the shorter padded mallets in there too. It's not gonna take a bigger one like the this. It's a little tall for that, but it'll take most of the padded mallets that I see people using. So it's a great bag. I usually travel with two of these, depending on the gig. It's got some carry straps. It comes with a, a shoulder strap too, but I just take those off because I never put it over my shoulder. But it's a great little bag. You can get something like that. Another one I've used a lot over time is your basic airline flight bag. This is a Samsonite bag. I like it because it does have the shoulder strap, which I will use, and it's it's fairly roomy. We open it up here. Uh, you can get a lot of mallets in there. It will even, again, take larger mallets. And what I normally do with this, here I've got a bunch of towels and some foam in there. 
for padding, I will use this when I'm playing like improv gigs and I'm bringing a lot of small instruments and some mallets. And I will put like wood blocks and bells, maybe a few bowls, uh, other small percussion shakers, whatever in the bottom. And then I will put a towel or something on top of that and wrap up my mallets and put them in there so they're at the top of the bag, keeping them protected. But something like this works out great. Uh, it's got a couple extra pockets, flaps on the ends here. Uh, yeah, just your basic airline flight bag or even like a gym bag, duffel bag. And you can buy really super expensive ones or you can get, you know, ones that are probably $30, $40, even less. But this works great. I've been all over the country. I've flown uh, out of the country with this one with my mallets and small instruments as a carry-on. I would never check those on an airline because I don't want anything to happen to them. I like to keep them in my sight, in my grasp. So this has flown all over with me when I've had to do gigs and I just bring my small stuff and have all the bigger things like gongs and things provided for me. But what, you say, if I have tons of mallets? Well, there are things for that. This is a Steve Weiss bag. This is their newer series called Liberty One. This is actually the smaller of their big bags. And I just got this uh, for Christmas. I needed something to really hold a lot of stuff. And it's great. It's got a lot of pockets. You have a, a pocket on the front, which is kind of tight, but it's more for like sheet music. Or you could stick a book in there. A little pocket here on the top. You could put your keys and other small items in there. A little flap with Velcro on the side. You can carry it this way or you can carry it this way. This one has a shoulder strap, which I like. The bigger bag is a little wider and it has backpack straps. And I'm not a big fan of backpacking any of my gear. And the first thing I would have done if I'd have bought that would be to cut the straps off. That's what I did with all my professional cymbal bags with backpack straps. I just cut those off. I don't want to carry anything like that on my back. But I do like the shoulder strap. It works really well. The other thing I liked about this over the bigger bag is it's a little bit taller. I think it's about an inch or inch and a half taller. Because some of my mallets are a little tall. Otherwise, it's, it's very roomy. Let's open it up here and take a look. So we've got this full flap top here that goes down. And as you can see, lots of mallets of all types in there. I probably have, I don't know, 25, 30 pairs of mallets inside. One thing that's nice is you've got this front flap with the pockets, so you could take your, like your most used mallets and stick them right in there. Make it easy to grab. Inside, there's a Velcro divider system. So this one has four compartments. The bigger one has six compartments. But it's a nice bag. It really holds a lot. The thing I like about it, too, is it's freestanding. So it will stand up, and you can just reach down and grab whatever mallets you need. There is a little side pocket here, too, I should show you, for smaller mallets. I keep, keep my flumies in there. Like, here's some Ewans and some other flumies. I've got... Some of my Bell and Crotal mallets in here, just short-handled mallets. So it, it's pretty versatile. One thing you can do if it's on the floor is a little low, you can put it up on a case or oh, maybe a little stool or something, even a chair, if you want to have it up higher so you can reach and don't have to bend so far. I like it a lot. It will even hold, here, let me get some of these out so you get some room. It'll even hold bigger padded mallets in there. It won't take the really tall ones that I like to use, like the Vic for GB1. But I only use like two of these with me, so that's not a big problem. Now, I didn't really buy this for traveling and playing gigs because I'm not going to bring this many mallets. It's way too many mallets. 
But I did buy this for here in my studio because it holds a lot. And again, I really like the freestanding idea that it stands up. If you look at some of these others, like the Balter one, well, if you've got something heavy in it, it's going to stand up. But as you can see, it's, it, it's not a standing thing. And even if you open it, your mallets are down in there. And if you've got more of the duffel gym bag, travel bag thing, well, all your mallets are kind of still down in there. This is great because it's freestanding and you can visually see what you have and it's easy to grab things. But I did get this for my studio. So when I'm working on projects and recordings and that, I have all the possible mallets I might use here. They're available and ready to go. So that's it. Kind of a simple subject, but a really important one. Again, I see people just carrying their mallets any old way. And I don't know. I mean, this is probably, anyway, this is probably six, seven hundred dollars worth of mallets in this bag. Um, I'd hate to add up how much I have invested in mallets because I have, I probably have about eight or nine times what's in this bag in various containers in my studio here. But that's 40 years or so worth of collecting mallets. I still have my very first marimba mallets from when I was in seventh grade. So if you take care of stuff, it lasts. And the best way to take care of mallets is get a good bag, especially if you're traveling. Don't just throw them in the back seat of your car. Um, because 10 years from now, when you're still playing the same mallets, you'll be happy as opposed to you're on your fourth pair of something. All right, mallet bags. That's it. We'll see you on the next cup of time.